Hold on, we got a lot of people Ma talking. Yeah, so Kong says millennials are buying more now. Do you guys see the hedge funds still buy a lot in Charlotte? Um, I noted that they don't buy many in the suburbs. That's or, good. Or just refinance at the lower interest rates and leverage that equity to buy more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so Kong, uh, millennials, yeah, I would, yes, millennials are buying more. However, what's more, you know, what is more? Were they, are they buying more than they were five years ago? Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Absolutely. Are they buying more? Then people who are 65 and older, no, the the data does not support that. Well, that's a bigger pool of people in the world to begin with. Well, I mean, right? you're talking you're talking baby boomers, yeah. which is still the largest. Yeah, uh, we're we're keeping control of this <laughs> earth as long yeah. as we can. Uh, do we see hedge funds <laughs> buying a lot in Charlotte? I noticed they don't buy many in suburbs. Um, I've so BlackRock has closed two deals so far that uh, for several billion. I think one was like 17 billion. That's, that's, um, that's some change. Yeah. So they are buying more, you know, in the MSA, not as much into the suburbs, but they still are buying in the suburbs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, you're hundred percent right. They are buying more, more in, uh, in the, in the local MSAs. Mm -hmm. So, and the thing to keep on top of too is, uh, because they do kind of, they, they get everybody out, else out of the business. Everybody else who wants to buy can't because, you mm -hmm. know, they're taking over. But, you know, don't forget about the little tiny suburbs that touch, um, at the little tiny towns that touch your larger MSA. Yep. Um, those are great markets for all of us to be in because investor can't buy those properties, but people who are wanting to do owner occupied can't buy those properties either because these hedge funds are coming in. And yeah. And a, in a great model right now, and it's been a great one for years um, underrepresented for sure. But, you know, buying properties, doing pools of properties and doing uh, rent to own. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's going to be huge now and moving forward because people are, can't qualify for the conventional loans as much. And if you can do seller financing or, you know, a rent to own scenario, lease option or whatever, um, there's a lot of opportunity there. Yeah. And uh, Kong is uh, an investor that's uh, he's he piled up a bunch of lots and he's been building houses and holding them as rentals. Yep. So he's doing new construction and holding on to them as rentals and um, you just will. refinance some through us recently. Right. <laughs> exactly. So. Um, it, you would be hard pressed to find anyone, um, millionaire, billionaire. Um, most of them made it through holding assets. Mm -hmm. You hold assets and generational wealth is built through holding assets. Um, so yeah, you, you can build up capital stacks, but you still have to do something with it. Right. I mean, if, you know, if I, you know, if I hand my kids 50 homes or $50 million, I wonder which one's going to last longer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Because those Porsches and all those cool cars will be yeah. in the driveway. But that, that's absolutely, uh, absolutely true.